All right, let's go into it this morning. So here's today's action. Um, what I have, I have the, uh, here's our eight Semrenko, our largest time frame. I love this time frame. Um, a lot of you traders are doing very well at this time frame because it gives you the big picture on whatever market that you're trading. Now, this is the S&P. So um, uh, basically what we need to do is a, a, a lot of the top trades, meaning the uh, runners in whether, whatever market that you trade in, uh, occurs when you have a running ATR. So the whole idea behind the methodology is to wait for the green ATRs to print or red, red ATRs to print and then we're trying to buy pullbacks into the zone of that ATR right and then we're looking for an opposite color speed bar. Now speed bar which is more of like a volume reversal or I call it a volume spike you'll see volume really come in heavy these levels on reversals is that you know sometimes you get uh, uh, this market moving up 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 but you don't know when to get in on a pullback well that's how the speed bar or speed box helps you out it it narrows down your trades for you to tell you when you should be looking to enter the market on a long or short position so you can see in uh, since um, last night and even after midnight we've been in an uptrend so what you want to do if you are green and you have green speed bar I mean green ATR boxes printing you can see the zones I have certain zones that we look at on pullbacks my favorite zone this is my 4538 zone and the great thing about this zone is that it likes price likes to come down to the zone and it likes to come outside of this zone so our ATR is totally different different than a lot of ATRs that print because they're different levels because we use a, a specific formula when this ATR starts printing so when it starts printing then at green we want to look for pullback so the first order of business is wait for the green ATR to start printing and then you look for opposite color speed bars so if you have green ATR you look for a red speed bar so we want to try to capture the reversal right at that zone so that is your zone at this level to look for a long right there that's your buy point now what you can do is if your aid is uptrending you have a smaller time frame the five sim to capture additional trades so your top chart is going to be the eight sim Renko to get your mind right and when you see this speed bar or speed box or volume spike come in then you know that zone is a high probability trade so as we work our way up when you get close to that zone again on the longer time frame you may have setups on your smaller time frame which we did this morning but the same uh, methodology applies so if I pick this up and I look at now I'm trading off a smaller time frame so this is a five sim Rinko and this you do not have to use Rinko bars you can use I know a lot of traders are using uni bars which is fine standard with ninja trader so if I take a look at this, we have green ATR boxes are printing. I mean, ATR uh, zones are printing. And it's the same method, though. We don't care when these green speed bars come in, right? We don't care. We're looking for red. We want red speed bars, just like it did now. It's bouncing outside the zone. We want red speed bars, and we want to come inside of the zone or at the zone and your longs will be at this level so we want to look for long levels at the zone or inside of the zone sometimes we'll come right to the zone like this or within a couple ticks of it and take off we got one right now that's working its way outside of the zone came within a few ticks I would not look for zones more than two ticks outside of the zone one or two ticks is fine if you get pulled in but you can tell that all these trades were generated based upon your reversal, your speed boxes. So you can see red against green ATR, red against green ATR. That's a setup. 
red against green, green ATR. Oops. Red against green ATR. Now, it's 8.30 right now, so we're getting a lot of action. It's moving. But, but you can tell this one here also, when the news come out, is that you can tell the ATR is still active on the upside, right? So how you can pull yourself in then is say, okay, well, I'm inside the zone. I'm inside the zone now. So how can I pull myself in? We use the oscillator below. Here's an oscillator below. And this oscillator is used for one reason. It's used to pull yourself in after a red or green speed box. Speed box. So if I'm trying to get long, let's say here, right, and you have, you come down to my zone, you come down into the zone or at the zone, come down into the zone at the zone, you can use the oscillator below to pull yourself in. So if I come, this is an 8DS. If I come in and I cross up above 10% here, that means you're getting long at that level right there at the high of that bar. It tells you you can pull yourself in on the trade. Now, some traders use other techniques. To, when you're at the zone, they have their own techniques to pull themselves in. That is fine. The greatest thing about this algo is it, it tells you what your trend is and it tells you what the, your zone is, where you should be buying and selling, and it tells you when you should look for an active buy and sell with the speed boxes. How you pull yourself in is totally up to you. We use this oscillator below as just a standard way to pull yourself in. If you got a better technique, I know some of you other, use other techniques to pull yourself in at these key levels, but this is like 80% of the hard work, 85% of the hard work. 15% is a pull in. You got to know when to buy and sell. You got to know the heads up when it's coming into the zone. And that's a great thing about the algorithm. The algorithm gives you a big heads up. Now you can run a strategy off of that. You can run the strategy. Now what you're going to be getting, you guys are going to be getting, is you're going to be getting my updated indicator and strategy where what it does, it actually, what they'll do, it will give you, um, it will give you the, uh, arrows that fire when the DS pulls in. So you can see where the arrows will fire automatically when it's a qualified trade. So if I go back through, so it's going to fire arrows automatically when that comes up. So I'm almost finished with this. I'm going to be getting out to all members, but you can see this arrow. There's an arrow that fires here. I'll blow this up so you can see it better. So what I added to the new updated version that you already have, you already have everything, the ATR and these speed boxes, but now the only difference is I have an alert that will alert you and it will go off, your speakers will go off when there's a trade set up. So your speakers fire the sound that you decide that you want to fire. I have it programmed in the indicator where it will fire these arrows according to the DS where you put it in that you want pulled in below. Okay, so this oscillator below here is now automatically automated on the indicator on the updated version you guys are going to be getting. So you can see that it will fire arrows automatically for you as far as that goes. Push it up a little bit here. Here's another arrow over here, another trade setup. So you can see, and then what you want to do is, if that happens, you put your stop loss two ticks above the swing high. Stops are very small using this technique. As far as that goes, you know, and then you, what you can do is run your strategy. So when you run your strategy like this, let's go real, this is real time. I've had been trading real time. Um, letting it run to test see if it's running smoothly. So this is just the last couple of days what it's done, I'll show you. So what you could do is you can run this. It's been batting almost 67%. Um, now obviously past performance doesn't uh, always is indicative of future performance. We all know that, but um, it's been in pretty good. Uh, just the last few days I've been running it. Um, it's running smooth. We're not shutting down. It's got a real nice 
profit factor 4.61. Um, so it's been doing very well. And the sharp ratio is 16, which is really good. So um, you can run this run the strategy. This is off of two con uh, off four contracts. Just in the last, I believe this was last run in day or so. So or two days. Let me see how many days back do I have. Yes. So it's been two days uh, of data, but you can you can run the indicator by itself, or you can run the strategy, whatever you decide that you want to do. So in other words, you don't have to run. You can run the indicator by itself. Like here's the indicator this morning. You know it caught. It's, it will catch these lows. If you run the indicator, I suggest looking for arrows inside of the zone, like it did now. Just had another trade inside the zone here. Here, you know, you want to look for them at the zone or inside the zone for the indicator, or you can run the strategy off that if you wish to run the strategy off of these levels. Okay, um, it's totally up to you. But you can see the best ones when the arrow forms. I like it right inside or at the zone. These are the trades I like to see fire if I'm just running the indicator. You know, so. You want to run it right at inside or at the zone. These are your best trades. Right at or inside the zone. You know, the stop I have in here is just outside of the zone. You can do two ticks above the swing high, but it's up to you how you want to do that um, as far as that goes. Okay, so you can... The, the, the whole idea of it, though, is, is that you're trying to look for pullbacks at the zone and then pulling yourself in with the DS below or any other technique that you want to use to pull yourself in. But it's the optic color speed bars. That's really guts. We're the only software in the world that, uh, that I know that actually has this methodology. I built this from ground up. So you can't find this anywhere that I, not that I know of that they're getting volume into zone trading for reversals. So it's pretty straightforward. If you have an up ATR, look for optic color speed bars. This is where you want to look for setup. The software does all the work for you right there. All the work for you. Then you can pull yourself in with the oscillator. Or like I said, if you want to use the zone, um, you want to use the zone software. I mean, the uh, the arrow that automatically pops up on the new update. I got you guys. Feel free to uh, even do that.